Uh, today we will be studying about smart pointers so pointers are a big problem for all newcomers in C and C++ it's one of the thing that becomes a mystery okay so smart pointers is one of the things that solves that mystery it makes it much easier as well as it helps you in solving other problems that are associated with pointers okay so we will see the smart pointers so mr smart so pointers but that are smart so let's see what they are so if i say that okay so i was doing a code in my company and let's say what happens is that i write a code and i'm very happy okay so i write i wrote a class called my class and i wrote a pointer for it my class star pointer and then I said that okay now I will give it some memory look allocation so PTR is equal to new my class so I now get memory allocated for that pointer then I do like okay so PTR do some work that is the useful work that I have to do and then I say that okay after doing the work I will delete so this I am very happy that I have done everything correctly I have written that do some work code I have allocated memory, I have deleted memory after the work, so I am a very good person, okay? In terms of my manager and every people, I am making all of them happy, okay? And it looks fine, so when you see this code for the first time, it looks very fine. But is there a problem, okay? So that's there. So there is a huge piece of code, let's say there is some code here. And what happens if there is some exception? So what I'm saying is that my class took some memory, okay? So it took a huge chunk of memory. And then what happened? I'm doing some work, but in between I got an exception, okay? My code gets an exception and somehow it crashes or exception happens and this at here only this code doesn't execute this line delete p so what happens now i'm not able to call the destructor and now i'm not able to free any resources that this code had taken like a lock if i had taken lock on some resource so this code will now not remove that lock so that will be a problem then memory i had taken i will not be returning back so these are some of the problems that C++ has even though you have written a very good code which doesn't seem wrong at all, okay? So that garbage collection, memory collection in case of exception, it's not happening. So what to do? So one thing what we might say that, okay, well, I can write a piece of code like this. My class star P try, so I will write, now I will put this code in a try block okay try catch so i do p is equal to new my class very good p do some work and then delete p so in normal circumstance i've put it in try block so if everything goes fine i will make a new class allocate memory to it do some work with it and then delete so this is very fine and now i have answer to this question if some exception happens and the program crashes then also so what happens this catch block will be called it will delete p so the destructor of the class p will be called and that will now do the work it will remove all the resources it will clear the memory for me and i will become very happy but again see miss how much cumbersome this becomes that okay every time you are assigning memory so you have to put a try catch block and you know that try catch block uh, it's looking doesn't look always good and you have to do the extra piece of hard work in writing this code so what is done to solve this problem so we have something called smart pointer okay so this is what we are going to study smart pointer so what it does is so we define a class so it's a template class t so this is a any type of so it's a template so i can have any kind of variable here or any variable type and then class auto pointer so this is the implementation what i do 
is I now have T star PTR. So it means I can have a pointer to any variable type and user defined type also and public and I write. So let's see the constructor auto pointer. So now I do I get an auto pointer. This is the constructor. So here what I do, I have a pointer variable. So I take it as an argument also by default. It will be null if you don't pass anything so that pointer will be null and then I make PTR is equal to P. So this is the way for C++ like writing PTR is equal to P here and then I assign that pointer argument to my PTR variable. Okay, so that pointer now so this is done so when i pass so i have to just call the constructor in that new class that when i define so i will pass the pointer to the class okay object then when i write the disk the, de the deconstructor so what i have to do is that i delete the pointer here whatever memory was assigned to it and then we have to other functions like t ampersand so i'm returning a reference when it is an operator star so i return you know what i return the star ptr that means what i will return a reference to it the pointer and uh, what happens so this is basically dereferencing function so this helps me in dereferencing and then this one helps me in getting the pointer okay so this is referencing so this is basically referencing okay so this is referencing and so let's see now so this is the code the skeleton code for auto ptr so it maintains a pointer of any type t using templates and then we have a constructor where I assign the pointer argument to the PTR here and then operators are there star and arrow. So arrow returns the pointer and star returns the dereferencing value. Okay, so let's see now. So what we are talking now. So initially what I had to write if I'm defining my class star P is equal to new my class. So it assigns one pointer. I get a pointer allocated with memory then p do some work and then delete p in which some exception happened that delete could not have happened but now let's see we are using auto pointer so i write like this i give it of type my class i define the variable p okay so this is the class very object and i'm assigning to the constructor new my class so this pointer is now passed to this one and it is assigned to PTR okay so this constructor is done so now this P is that one new my class pointer and it goes and it's get assigned to PTR okay now what happens is now I do some work P do some work so this P arrow this basically what it is doing so this is the object and arrow if I call so this is calling this method and it returns the pointer so basically here i'm getting the pointer and then do some work so it does some work calls the function and then i don't have to call delete okay so now let's see why logically smart pointer works so it's important so let's see what is the way how c and c plus plus language works so here we have something called automatic variables and automatic variables so they are in some scope scope is like basically some braces are there so if i define an int a here so this is this is the lifetime of this so in this execution between the braces it will be there and after this brace it will be gone okay so here what happens now automatic variables so they when they go out of scope so the memory is deleted okay so this is the thing that it uses so now what happens so auto pointer my class p new my class i define so this will be in some scope and what happens is when i go out of scope so this memory will be deallocated so that this class so this class auto pointer class destructor will be called and inside the destructor what will happen is that it's 
the pointer will be deleted delete ptr will happen so this is the main thing that we use the trick so in it is a simple this auto pointer is a simple automatic variable class so when it goes out of scope so automatically its destructor is called for that class and inside the destructor because we are maintaining the pointer as a attribute of this class so it gets deleted and so the memory is freed okay so this is the main idea behind the how we manage to delete without directly calling delete and even if crash happens so this destructor will automatically get called because it will be going out of scope and then automatically its destructor will be called and the pointer will be deleted so this is a beautiful concept i think which is used here and i hope you like the video so about the smart pointers so if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel and share it with your friends thanks a lot